today we got something new here miraboxnt.com you know what a 3d printer yes right there now the question is what are we building okay i'll show you what we're building so we're building this now the good luck chinese cut you see it right over there and a few cameras i think it's a great device i love it you know was written an article they said every garage should own a 3d printer and i said yes and you know why well no, i'll tell you why in a second How we doing this is dario from mediaboxnt.com and yes we like to bring you a lot of new things and today we bring you a 3d printer now why are they saying now that in every garage you want a 3d printer i think because there is so many projects you can work on it or maybe that parts are no longer available right so no longer available now you can make your own parts and it's pretty simple uh, one of the things i like at this printer it's pretty simple to set up uh, the parts have this assemble but it took you maybe about 20 minutes to put all this together a great price too has a nice uh the screen there you see there i'm going to change it so you guys can see really there so we have a nice uh, lcd screen but it's telling me you know the what we build in the time progress and how long it's going to take now how long, how long it means pending because it's hard to figure out how long it's going to take this project is going to take about maybe three some three hours the project can take days so this one's about three hours because we are in about two two hours and three minutes and we are about 66 percent but now it's building the head of that so she go a little faster than that right so i'm thinking about maybe three and a half hours for this project there are different type of filaments the filament this is a 1.75 millimeter filament and what we're using is the PLA plus a different than PLA with the rate with the PLA plus the PLA plus it has more brightness into it and I show you the filament here in this case this is a yellow filament and temperature wise is 190 to 220 celsius for this I'm gonna tell you a few things about that now this is one kilo two pounds the one I have over here that too that's a plus the only thing is this one requires 110 to 230 celsius the temperature to run on the head of the printer now a few things on the printer you have to make sure that we have the right temperature to set you have to manually set the temperature it's pretty simple in this video i'm going to show you that part so we're going to cover that so in this case for for this one if i want to use the yellow 190 maybe i set at 200 about and i do not go to the maximum level there's 220 so i leave it i find the metal sweet spot about 200 to set that your next thing is you have to set the right temperature on the bed and the bed i set it about you can set it at about 90 but i set about 60 celsius okay it's always measured in celsius so this is six, 60 celsius for that to calibrate because that's one of the, the mistakes a lot of people making and when i read a lot of forms people having that problem why why in the middle of the project it gets it gets um, come off from from the from the bed you will think oh because it's, the head is too tight no nah, it's not not that actually because it's too loose or, or the millimeters between the head and the bed is too big so today i show you a little secret how easy it is to calibrate i will say almost any type of this type of uh, uh, 3d printer and by the way yesterday we're using the yellow one now some and then we have the multicolor one here i guess uh, same thing uh, P, uh pla plus 1.75 millimeter and this one has different colors so now it's printed the green so in reality it depends how big the pressure is so this one i guess for the cut i think it will be a green color shiny green it's pretty shiny i mean if you guys look this i love the, how shiny that thing is right now so i think it's going to look like a green color because of the way the colors roll in this and they have different roles i guess when the colors are not as separated that much closer so you get like a multi-color rainbow i think but you can use all kind of colors remember this machine only allows you to use one i guess we can use three another thing we can use here we can really pause this if we want now remember i tried that to pause and we went out for dinner we come back three hours later and i was using the white one when i come back and resume it if it was for about a minute or two with like a whole uh a brown line because yeah because it passed three hours you kind of burn in the filament there because the head is still hot waiting for you to resume it 
So the head goes and stays in parking mode with 200 Celsius there, and eventually you burn in your um, your filament. So when they resume, it's going to it's not going to look perfect. So be careful with that. You can pause it for 10, 20 minutes, or maybe an hour, but not leave it for like four hours and come back. Right, and if you stop the project, you stop the project. You have to resume it and start from zero once again. One nice thing is uh, you load everything to a macro SD card. You can plug it in the computer really if you want, but in my case, no need for it because that way you can have this anywhere. Load up your software in a macro SD card, put it right over there, go to the control panel, load whatever you have to load, and then printer. So you don't need to go physical connected. You can connect to this one, I think, Wi-Fi. We're going to have to do that together. I don't think not necessary for that. So what we're going to do now in this video, since I've shown you this thing working, I'm going to show you the the little cut of the brush you've done, and I'll show you all the brushes we did as well. So you have an idea. And we're going to show you calibration-wise and temperature-wise, so make sure it always is set and to the right way. And we're going to show you also this uh, filament we're using. Tap camera, so we're going to go to the camera. And I'm going to show you all the details on this particular video. So we're going to look to things details in the video and also uh, the configuration as well too. All right. So what else you get with the printer besides the filament, the 3D? It's good. I recommend if you're going to buy the printer, get yourself a good uh, filament. And then you get uh, all this. This is to remove your project, to cut the filament, right? And you get all the tools. To put that together, USB cable, if you want to plug it and run your computer, Allen keys, and a bunch of different screws. You have a backup here, heads, in case it needs to replace it, and even it has a thing to clean it. So it's done with there. Is it? That's, that's what you get. We're going to do a little bit of overview of the menu and how to calibrate the unit, how to print. So this is the main menu as soon as you start. So you get tool settings, auto load, and print settings. Now in tooling, we have a lot of information here. And even in configuration, there's a lot of things you can play around. I mean, I didn't touch none of those. I mean, if you know how to advance printing, you can go, go ahead and make changes, but you don't have to make none of those changes. They leave it the way it is. I didn't change the speed fence or none of those things. So I went in tool. The first thing you need to do, the first time you need to do the calibration. All right, so you get the four points. See this one? It's the one over there, right? They show you there, there, and there. So what are you going to do? You're going to grab a piece of paper, 11 mod A, there. Okay. All right, so now there. What we need to do is make sure this is calibrated right. You see here, the paper comes off with no problem. So we need to adjust it here. And I think we need uh, to, uh, clockwise. Let's see. Yes, clockwise. And now it's giving some force. You see now I cannot go back, and that's perfect. And we'll go back again, and that's good. I cannot go back, but I can only go forward. So you're gonna do that the four corners. Then in the end, you're gonna send the center in the same way. It's not calibration the center, but make sure you see here now this is loose. So I need to adjust it again. So let's go back to one. Let's see what happened here. Why is that way? So I'm going to adjust it a little more tighter here. That's good. Let's go up to point two. And you got to check some time. This was already calibrated and I did something just now. That's fine. Okay. Let me go back to the other corner. All right. Let's check this one out. Okay, something happened here. All right, so let's calibrate this one now. That's good. And let's calibrate that one there. And that's fine. So let's go now five. And that's good now. So it puts some force. Maybe 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 a little more but i think uh what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go and adjust it a tiny bit i'm gonna adjust it each corner a little bit a little more and it should be perfect so this is now five
Good. So the calibration is done at that point. All right. So now, how you print? This is the only thing you need to do. How to load? No. How you load the filament? So go to the filament and here you got load. So you're gonna press low and you need to wait and to get the right temperatures. So it's gonna tell you then when it's ready. When it's ready, you're gonna put your filament through here and you gotta push hard, at least at the beginning, and then automatic will low. To unload this here. That's it. Let's go back, back, and let's go now on printing. So you go printing, load up, right on the side, your 3D work. In this case, we're gonna go back into Google. Here we have a directory called Google. right up here and choose your model all right let's say now i'm going to choose the ship we choose the ship we add okay confirm so here we get information temperature wise pen speed i do not change that and this is not how long it takes this is how long it's going to take the whole pressure when it's done so that pressure maybe takes two hours so i'm going to go to options i'm going to go in temperature so we need to go up to 60 or 65 that's a bet So this is the head. Let me stay there. So and it's the head that's fine. So they go to 60. And we need to go up to 200. Okay. So there goes two. One is the bed. Another one is the head. So you got to make sure they have the right temperature. If the bed doesn't have the right temperature, your pressure will come off. Very important. And make sure you clean it with alcohol. So again, make sure this is set at 60. And in this thing requires 200 when you're done you get here and we're gonna wait so this it needs to get at 200 in the bed it needs to get about a 65 in the celsius when this reach 65 celsius and this reach 200 we set up those two things you're done the pressure will start you don't need to touch anything three hours later or two hours later the ship will be done and the same it's almost done but we are now 92 percent well it's closing now uh, and then after closing we uh, build uh, the ears truly no idea that i was a fan i didn't pay attention to that until now that i got that so close so that's a fan there okay so the fan the speed fan i guess it's too cool off too cool off the material so depending depends on something material maybe needs more fan or less you know what i mean because i can control the speed of the fan right now that thing is going like 256 i guess rpn or, or the fan rotates at that speed so i know that i can change the speed so if you change the speed it will even cool out faster or even will take more time So the nice is yes, come with your own software and where you can decide design things. Um, and, and this is pretty simple because the way we run it on the printer, it has a micro SD card right on the side. So you take the micro SD card, plug in your computer, and design design the pressure you want to do, right? And then save it on the micro SD card, put it on the micro SD card, and then load it up here. Has a menu where you you see your uh, directory is there, and you execute that and execute your project. Now this project has been running for about four hours, going to be now. No, this one this one is hollow. Okay, so with two versions we can build. We can build the hollow or the solid version. I think you know. No difference. Get a little cute cut. Check that out.
right so as we see it's pretty simple to use i know the configuration there's a lot of things you can change you can change the speed the fan all that but in reality i didn't play with that i'm a basic on 3d printer if you know how to play around with those speed you know go ahead and change it but in my case to print the basic it works perfect there are a few things few tips you need to follow make sure the bed is calibrated so check the calibration make sure the bed has the right temperature 60 celsius and make sure they have follow the instruction of the roll if you look the roll it will tell you between 195 to 210 or 220 under the middle point of 200 230 i just put 210 it's very important no normally when i read the forms and see people complaining i'll say oh the middle of the pressure might think i'm off well, why calibration problem is because you don't set the right temperature of the bed because it that way this thing will stick into that and also make sure if you want to remove the project when they cool off it's not going to come off so easy so you need to turn the bed back again and remove it all right so if you leave it there and and you turn it off and leave the pressure then come back next day do not try it. you're going to break it so turn it up back again turn on the bed and then you can remove it very important for that well my next tip is make sure you buy good qualities on the rolls I'll show you why so we have two rolls here so this one it came with the unit it's a freebie fine but you see how it's being wired or has been rolled up you see that well what happened is if this you start and pull it on very important also you need when you finish put it here so but when you start this coming off it will tangle itself out and your process is done and this one is uh, i don't know now kind of worth it i have to spend time looking this roll so kind of maybe not worth it right now maybe it's good for the demo but then that's it now you see this one the way it roll up it's perfect so look into that very important because it's not you'll be stuck into the machine looking every five minutes and make sure this thing doesn't get stuck or somewhere there right that's my tip and then uh if you want to show you the process we did we showed that in the beginning right so we have here the we call it thousand customers that's why you see that in the stores they have these things and bring a lot to bring a lot of customers so good printing right and this is the filament the multicolor filament i will leave the links right below this video and these are the pikachu we did this pressure was four hours and 25 minutes this one because it's a solid version it took almost like six and a half hours now this is a pikachu so we have here the towers we need to remove that that's only to hold pikachu when was building the way it is right we need to remove this we need to, and then we have to be careful when we take all this out. So here's the tail, right? The thunder tail. But this is only for to, to build it, or just to hold the project. It's all about 3D printing. It's simple. Don't take much. Just load your project and that's it. Done. Put the time, leave it there, come back four or five or six hours. Some project can take two days. Leave it there and come back. That's it. Done. All right. So any comment, let me know. I'll leave you the link right below this video.